about something about uh, being married for the second time. We do. So pieces of advice about getting remarried since we both ha are in the remarried. Right. Um, one of them I really found that was important was the complexity of the relationship now because there's a lot more moving parts. And I came in with a daughter, an ex-husband, a dog. a dog and three cats, and all sorts of things to manage. And so... And we ended up keeping the husband. <laughs> we did. <laughs> he's still in our lives, he's and he's a good friend. Yes. Kept the daughter, too. Yes, um, that's right. But <laughs> it's just to be aware of that and to put each other as primaries yes. and know that those are third things in your lives and right. that you, you know, you. I go to you first, and then you resource me well enough right. that I can manage all those other yeah. things. That's a hard thing for people to get because, um, it, like you said, the complexity of numbers adds, and people think that because there are more people to deal with, uh, kids and exes and other parents and so on, that they really can't do it. But they make the same mistake every time. They don't see their relationship as primary mm -hmm. and you know, as the roof of the house, as the leaders. And one of the things that Joanna, I think, said, although she, you told her, I mean, she told you, rather, that she, she liked me because I made you happy, mm -hmm. right? And, uh, and I think that's what kids really want. Biologically, they want their parents to be in love. They want them to be happy because if they're not happy, they can't be, right? So um, uh, this idea of, th of being uh, primary and that we're feeding each other so that we can take care of everyone right. else is really important because if we become under-resourced and depleted, we can't do our jobs. We can't be good parents. We're, yeah, we're worse parents. And so um, my final thought is, is that, yes, I'm fully resourced. I can be a better parent. Yes. And that you never discipline Joanna. It's, that's my job as her biological parent. Right. As oh. much as I'd like to. I'm kidding. I don't <laughs> but no, I, I, uh, I learned, you know, that, you know, with Joanna, I had to, I had to court her, right? I had to court her uh, to, uh, into a relationship that made her feel safe, but also made me an insider, but an outsider, someone else that she could be with and talk to um, that was not mother. Mm -hmm. and not father, right? Another piece of advice that I was thinking of was really realizing that you come into the relationship with so much past history. Oh, yeah. And past trauma, past hurts, past woundedness, all, all the way from childhood. Yeah. And now I'm with you. And now I'm getting healed. You know, we're hurt by people, we're healed by people. Right so that I'm getting healed by you and I'm healing you. So when you have an injury that I know has nothing to do with me, right. has to do with an ex-wife or anything she like that. She shall not be named. Um, that I'm the one here in the relationship now. Right. So it's my job is to be present and help you right. heal. As is mine. Yeah, and yeah. so doing that for each other. And I think um, I, when, you know, when we've done these retreats that people don't, come in with that knowledge. Right. Um, you know, I think both of us have benefited from that. We both have oh, contributed yeah. to each other's success by being there and, so, and being supportive, but this matter of resourcing each other I think is really important. That unless, unless two people are providing um, a safe and secure environment, one that is, it, they're guaranteeing to each other is going to be supportive and is going to be protected does so much um, uh, in the area of creativity and and being able to move development forward and do things that ordinarily you can't do. So I didn't really uh, hit uh, my stride until you. Um, you know, um, you, without the environment that you have helped create with me, I couldn't be doing any of the things I do, which is just a fact. Oh, no, uh, nor me, so. Right. And I think the last one is find mentor couples. Yeah. Is that when you're going into, you know, you've done all the vetting, you've built a community that's really going to help you be successful in this. Right. But, also, but part of that community should be mentor couples, people that when you go out to dinner with them, you don't just like really want to leave because they're putting each other down or they're right. bickering or they're like rolling their eyes at each other. Then you just, you know want to have another glass of wine. Right. Find people that 
you want to emulate. They can be any age and then start hanging out with those guys. And we have too. We have, yeah. uh, and they're older than us and they become sort of surrogate parents to I us know. in a way. But there are people that, um, that we look to and we watch, we closely observe them. How they um, behave. How they behave. And one of our mentor couples, who they're in their 80s, mm -hmm. has a mentor couple in their 90s. Right. You know, I've had couples come in and say, you know, this whole thing, the secure functioning is a unicorn. We don't know anybody who does this. You know, it can't be true. Uh, and I'll ask them, you know, who do you hang around? And, 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 and there are people that are as miserable as they are. So. We make sure that we uh, that we also mostly hang around with couples that are doing what we do and are open and honest and they're the real deal. Um, so I, I think in, in summation, one of the things that we can say about um, about what we do is what we're hoping other people do, uh, instead of it being I do and you do. We do. We're a team. We do this together. Where you go, I go. Where I go, you go. Right. And we're a pro-relationship. And we're pro-relationship. We put it first. Right. We do. We do. We do.